in the earlier session we have seen what is state assignment what is the need for it it is nothing but the way to minimize the combinational circuit thereby reduce the cost of the logic circuits and what are the rules associated with it in today's class we will see how to design a sequential circuit in the previous classes we have learned about how to design a a uh, mealy circuit and a more circuit that is we have done the analysis with it starting from the state table how to proceed starting from your input functions how to proceed with the state table and arrive at the state diagram now whenever the, that is the analysis case whenever we want to design it so here that is whatever we have seen as the output in the previous case that is a state diagram so from the state diagram we will arrive at the reduced state table then extended state table and then we will do the k map and arrive at your input equations and then draw the logic diagram just vice versa of it given the state diagram you are going to design everything okay for which the excitation whichever flip flop here the design of synchronous sequential circuit using jk flip flop so this excitation table of the jk flip flop it should be known for it so when the present state and the next state is given if you are going to compute your inputs that is your excitation table once this data is known the entire process can be carried out now we will see this is going to be a question so design a synchronous sequential circuit with jk flip flop given the state diagram now you people know how to draw your state table this state table is going to be a reduced state table okay because you are just going to write four conditions and you are going to write at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 1 okay now four states are there 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 written here as a present state okay now from the diagram you draw the next state so how will you draw so 0 0 goes to itself at 0 because first you have to take the input at x equal to 0 then you have to take the input at x is equal to 1 so 0 0 goes to itself at x is equal to 0 0 0 goes to 0 0 itself at x is equal to 0 so this is done with now This zero zero goes to zero one at one. So zero zero goes to zero one at one. So write the state as zero one. Next zero one. So zero one state is there. First you take the condition where it goes to zero. So zero one goes to one zero when the input is zero. Then zero one goes to itself. Zero one goes to itself when your input is one. In this fashion you fill the table. so what is the next step you have to draw the extended table what you are going to write instead of doing x is equal to 0 and 1 parallelly you are just going to write 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 so you will write the state twice 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay you are going to extend your thing instead of writing it in a parallel way you are writing it right adjacently now this part is finished so what are the components of your state table four things present state input next state and output all these four components should be present okay now these this part is over what is the next condition is your next state that is a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1 so here whatever you have written horizontally so you have to write adjacently how to write 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so, because it is at x is equal to 0 this is at x is equal to 1 similar way 1 0 0 1 so 1 0 0 1 then 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 then 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 okay. okay now this next state has been computed now we will go in for your output this is going to be the input of your combinational circuit what whatever is your present state and your input so you can see also here what is the input here so he input is a b and x are going to be your inputs here a b and x okay now if you are going to see your output of the combinational circuit the data that is any sequential circuit in front you will have a combinational circuit so a b and x are the inputs whereas what is your outputs j a k a j b k b so these are going to be your output of your combinational circuit okay now 
once this part is done with these this full part is going to be written from the state table which in turn it is obtained from your state diagram now what you have to do now there comes the help of your excitation table what is the excitation table given the present state and the next state if you are going to compute your inputs what is the transition that is going to cause the present state to next state then that is called as your excitation table so here you have to consider this is going to be my present state and this is going to be my next state so when the input is 0 and 0 what is the condition 0 x okay whenever my input is so I am I am going to write the input for j a k a so just consider the present state and the next state a a of t plus 1 so for 0 0 what is the input 0 x okay so for 0 0 again it is 0 x the next condition 0 1 so, 0, 1 it is 1 x in this fashion you have to fill. Similarly, when you go for your j, b and k, b take the b and b of t plus 1. So, 0, 0, 0 x. So, 0, 1. What is 0, 1? 1 x. In this fashion you frame the table. So, for what we have done? From the state diagram you are drawing your state table. From the state table you are writing the extended state table. Once this is done with you are comparing the A and A of t plus 1, B and B of t plus 1 and writing your excitation table. Once this is done with then you have to plot the k map expression for j a, j b, k a and k b. Okay. So, that is the thing you have to do. Now, what is the output now for j a? It is where is the output is here? 0, 1, 2. So, in 2 you have the output 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, okay, 2 you are having the uh, output 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are don't guess, okay. In this manner corresponding to your inputs, I have just mapped the values in the, for example, if I am going to take KB, it is 0, 1, 2. In 2 place alone I have 1 and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 4, 5 I have the don't care which has been marked. So, now you group it. How will you group? So, this is a don't care. If don't care, if you want, you use it for higher cell grouping, else you leave it. That is a concept. Here, if you could see, all the four don't cares are there. Grouping of don't cares is unnecessary. The main KMAP principle is that I have to group the number of ones, right? So, only a two cell grouping is sufficient here. So, what will be the answer for this? So, it is not lying here. So, it is nothing but B x bar. So, what is your j b is b into x bar. Now, the next one here also you have various shapes. So, only two cell grouping is sufficient. So, what will be the value? So, this is sorry j a is b into x bar, j b is b into x. So, these two equations we have varied with. Similarly, we will plot for k. What is the things? Only this four cell. If I am going to group only once, I will get only two cell grouping. So, I can go in for a four cell grouping. So, 0 and 1 it is not matching, 0 and 1 it is not matching, 1 and 1 it is matching. So, the expression is x. Now, we will come for this. So, k b. So, how I can group here? So, I can group the corners and this is one two cell grouping. What will be the expression for this? This is a bar 0 0 1 0. So, x bar the second variable is matching. Now, for this it is plus a 0, 1, 1, 1. So, 1 is matching. So, it is x. So, what is this formula pertains to? A x A b plus A bar B bar is A x or B the whole bar. So, we have arrived the four equations. Once these equations are arrived, what is the next step? So, your fourth step is nothing but to plot your logic diagram. Okay. Now, what is the expression you have got? J A, J B, K A, K B. So, two flip flops are there. Draw the flip flop. Just draw the outline. Connecting is easy. Okay. J A, J B, K A, K B. Put a clock pulse for it. Synchronous uh, machine it is. So, output is A A bar, B B bar. Okay. Now, what are the expression? J A is B into X bar. So, what do you require? Some two data are multiplied. So, put a AND gate. B into X. Again, you put a AND gate. Next, you come for your k a it is only x so you can just drop a line the next one is what is your uh, k b a x or x the whole bar so you put a x nor gate and keep ready now you give the connection what is the first case 
j a is b into x bar. So, take a point from b here they have taken it from a or else we will produce uh, we will proceed from k b. So, what is k b? k b is nothing but a, a x nor b. So, you are taking the value from a and then you are going to take what are the variables at the input a, b and x. Okay. So, in that case I am going to take the variable a and I plot it here. Okay. So, once a is done with then what you are going to do? You are going to have the x here. Okay. A in a x or nor a x or x the whole bar you have got the expression for k b over. Now, you come for here k a, k a is x. So, from x you drop a line over. The next thing is that you are going into go for your k a. What is k a? k a is nothing but b into x. So, b into x you have drawn. The same b has been given b into x bar it has been given. So, this b you take it from this point that is all. Okay. So, this finishes your diagram. So, just draw the outline and the gates and then you can give your connections as per the required application. So, with this I conclude. So, what are the things you should know? It is just the vice versa of the analysis of your synchronous sequential circuit. Starting from the state diagram, you draw your state table. From the state table with the help of excitation table, predict your outputs. Once this is done with draw the K maps and draw the logic diagram. Thank you. In the next class, we will be seeing about, so what is asynchronous sequential circuit and how to design it. Thank you.